Hey, what is going on, everybody? Um, I'm uh, here today uh, because I went to a small comic book convention in Plainview, Connecticut called Cliff Cons. Um, and I'll try to put a, a link down there. He has a show every month if you're in the Connecticut area. Um, I actually got so much stuff that I'm going to have to do it in pieces. Uh, probably three or four videos. So, uh, without further ado, uh, the first uh, book I picked up is uh, Ghost Rider 61. Now, this is the Volume 2 run, which I prefer. I like the Volume 2 run better than the in the volume one run. I may get the volume one run eventually, but I have it on DVD ROM, so uh, not a big deal. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, I'll have it right here. Uh, let's see, one second. Yeah, right there. So I could, you know, and this has the volume two run also, so I could always look at it. I could read it that way, so no problem. And this is number uh, 69. Newsstand copy, which doesn't matter to me, newsstand or not, as long as I have the book, it doesn't matter. And uh, this I just picked up because uh, I wasn't sure if I had it. Uh, X Factor number one, newsstand, and I think I have this also, but just in case, I picked this up on uh, New Mutants number one. And I think I also have this, but just in case I picked it up, I wasn't sure. Deadpool, number one. I have that on DVD-ROM, Deadpool. So. And while I was there, I, I'm, I'm on the fence about collecting this series because I love Sal Buscema, um, John's brother. So I might, but I saw it there. It was uh, not a bad price. So it's a ROM 31, which is arguably the first appearance of Rogue. Some say it's the second appearance, but I figured, you know, I may as well grab it before uh, she ends up in a movie, even though she's been in a movie but not done well. So, you know, while I was there, well, I didn't have to have this, but Thor Annual number 18. Because this, this came out in 1993, and I basically... I, my collecting stops around 1993, um, but because of my friend Tessa, at Tessa is a nerd, um, I'm starting to get interested in Jen Bartel, uh, her art, so books that she does I'm uh, looking into. And now I've got uh, some Captain Americas. This, these are just run filler, fillers, so this is number 336. Not imperative that I had them, but... I'm I'm up to f I'm pushing up to 400, and I don't need that many anymore. So 352, because I pretty I pretty much have a full run of Captain America. So uh, so these were just the handful that I needed. Number 360, first Crossbones. It's in a Mylar. That's why we got glare like that. And a great cover, number 364 with crossbones. 365, Submariner. Probably change that bag because it's a little, little wrinkly, you can see. This is a great cover, number 368 with Magneto. This is this is a nice cover. 369 crossbones is on that too. I probably have to change that bag out. And this one as well, 370 with red skull. And let's see, 372. This is a nice cover. Uh, number 374 with bullseye, Ron Lim cover. Alright, now I also picked up um, put these down here. I picked up uh, some Daredevil because I decided um, I had my run was up to 1 to 200. I'm only missing number 1, 2, 4, and 5. Uh, I'll get them. I'll get them. Um, but I decided I let me go up let me go up to 300 and end there. 
So, uh, I only need about maybe five issues, four issues, so, and not expensive issues, so I'll get them. There's number 201, Black Widow returning. And again, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change out uh, these bags. Some of them I did already, but uh, number 202. And 205. I don't have any lights on in the room, so I don't know why I'm getting a glare. Number 206 with Kingpin. It's freaking wrinkly bags. i got to change these out. Uh, 207. That's a nice cover. 211. And most of these weren't expensive at all. Really nice cover. 212. 213. Because I know I did another video where I picked up a bunch. So like I said, I only need maybe five issues. No big deal. Nice cover. 214. For those interested, newsstand. Uh... 215 and some of these have prices on them but they were 50% off so didn't cost me a lot of money 216 that's a great cover this is a cover this is a beautiful number 217 Barry Smith cover and I really like Barry Smith he started out um, at Marvel and he was drawing just like Jack Kirby but then he evolved into this, which is great. So you get the um, Marvel Comics Presents um, with Weapon X, uh, the origin of Wolverine, um, and, of course, his Conan run. I have a full uh, Conan run. Uh, I'll show that eventually. Number 218, where Daredevil is the Jester. There's more to the story than that, but uh, let me see. 221. Two twenty-three and two twenty two twenty-four. Change that bag too. Let's see. Here's a great cover. New two twenty-five. Daredevil fights the vulture. Nice cover. Two thirty-three. Two forty-eight with Wolverine. Two forty-nine with a great cover with Wolverine. And now we get into the Blackheart issues, which is Mephisto's son, I believe. Two fifty-four. Two seventy seven two seventy eight black heart and two seventy nine Mephisto is in this too and let's see. 280, Daredevil in Hell with Mephisto. Now, this was a long story. And 281, Silver Surfer comes in. Because when you have Mephisto, Silver Surfer can't be far behind. 282, and there's Silver Surfer. Continuing the Mephisto story. It's a long story, but a really good story. 286 288 nice uh, cover with bullseye 290 
And last one, 293. And there you go. I got a lot more, but um, I don't want you uh, getting bored. So I will do another video with those. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. So uh, thanks again for watching. You know, do all that stuff. Hit the bell and subscribe and all that. All right? Thanks. Bye.